Welcome back to the Toyota Owners 400 from Richmond on Fox. There's about a 40 minute, minute hole in the clouds here, so taking advantage of a little bit of sunshine, what's left of it, and a track that is almost dry and ready to go. Let's dial up our pole sitter. Drivers, start your magic! Damp track, wet weather tires. What will we see for 400 laps in Richmond? Let's find out. Green flag. You can see them all just going into that corner, feeling it out, then going. Larson did not baby it in there. Elliott right to his outside. Once the lead takes it. Three, four wide back there. And NASCAR has told the teams that they will be putting slick tires on at the competition caution, that this will be declared a dry race. And there's the caution. Take a breath and we'll take a break. We got 30 laps in. Yeah, Kyle is struggling with the handling in his race car. Wasn't good in the wet weather and not very good in the dry either. Continues to go back. Oh, oh. Barry into Suarez. How about this? He, is he going to? Almost saved, saved it. it. Almost. Wow. Good spot back around. Good spot back around. You can see him lift out of the gas. He's pretty high up on the corner. This unfortunately got in the back of him. You're in trouble. Kevin. Here we go. Stage in. Just hold on. <laughs> Kyle Larson gets his third stage win of 2024. Started sixth, his second best of the year. Tight through the center, free up, but he kept it in the top five for most of this race, Regan. Bubba Wallace, this run has been too free into the corners, too tight center. We saw him lose a few spots early on, and that was his biggest complaint. Martin, well, Martin Truex Jr. cycles back to the lead. Now, when all this started, he was six tenths of a second back, Truex was, to Kyle Larson when pit stops began. Well, now it's going to flop. Now, uh, Martin Truex is going to be running slower, and Larson is going to is going to run this run out, what we believe, all the way all the way to the end. And we see Alex Bowman on pit road with pit crew hopping around. But I think that the pace is there. Certainly, Cliff Daniels thought the pace was there. Caution. Tell you what's there is a caution. Caution at lap 170, and this is the third caution of the night. And Kyle Busch bounced off the wall. We're waiting on word from NASCAR, but that may be the reason for the caution. Way up out of the groove, you seem heading north. Man, it's almost like a, a brake issue or maybe a right front down, Kevin. Yeah, the car definitely went straight. And, and Not a right front. Oh. It's definitely not down. Well, it was one thing's for sure. The day wasn't going very good, and the night is getting worse. 194 laps complete. Martin Truex now 1.2 ahead of Josh Berry, the only driver in the top five who does not yet have a Richmond win. Berry running right where he was a year and where he finished a year ago. Final lap, stage two. Here they come to the line. Bowman with a head of steam on the outside. Ah, that was so close. I don't think Truex did. I he think got... Truex was ahead of him, but barely. NASCAR will review that. He knows how strong that car is. He, he does... get him a lap down. I'm going for Absolutely. it. Absolutely. You yep. want to pin you want to pin him a lap down. And how close was it with Alex Bowman? Here they are at the line. There is the photo showing that Bowman was indeed the first car one lap down. So he will get the wave around. Well, this is the this is the guy that they gave control of the race to, and they have not relinquished control of that race since uh, that strategy played out in the first stage with Martin Truex Jr. That leaves Christopher Bell out on the racetrack, along with Suarez, Blaney, and Sindrick. The three of those cars a lap down. Chastain finishing up, so Bell is the leader under the previous yellow about when to make this stop. Crew Chief Adam Stevens said he did not want to do it too soon because he'd pay the price on the backside of the run. As for the car right now, just a little bit too loose for Christopher Bell. Well, we see the, the battle for the lead heating up, and I, I think... Oh, Christopher Bell, too fast exiting pit road. Well, we talked earlier, Clint, minimize the mistakes. This is a very difficult pit road. 
It's very easy to get too much, be too low in the corners or whatever that that may be, but it has bit Christopher Bell. In a big way, this is a bad place to have a mistake this late in a race. Larson right on his tail. And Logano. And, this and is, Wallace. This is what, what makes or break the, yes, the race right here. This pit stop getting on and off pit road. Jamie? In the 19 of Martin Truex Jr. and Joey Logano both in their pit boxes. Martin happy as he has been all race long. Joey Logano firing off a little too tight. Another air pressure adjustment. Legan. Bubba Wallace looking for his first career top 10 at, uh, at Richmond. Right now, there's no more comments on the brake shake. He's been very focused, and the five of Kyle Larson has not said a word since the caution way back at the end of the last stage. He's zoned in right now. So Denny Hamlin leads for the first time today with just 63 laps to go. Look at this, boys. Kyle Larson got him in the pits. That's exactly what we were talking about there. Here's the race off pit road down around the corner from where we are on the front straightaway. Oh, pushed him out. Truex had to lift. I don't necessarily think he had him beat. He crowded him. Well, you got to do what you got to do to put yourself in position to win. And Kyle Larson knew that. So Christopher Bell cycles through to the lead. Truex and Larson. Uh, uh, Denny Hamlin ran a little extra long. I mean, I know it's only a handful of laps, but it seemed to make a big, pretty big difference the last time when he got his lap back. Gillen's got good pace. Now Truex gets right. to his back bumper. Turning. He moves. Bumper Trouble runs straight away. Larson. Caution is out. Oh, Bubba Wallace got the back goodness. of Larson right there. And that changes everything. It yes, sure it does. does. With two laps to go, and Truex. More than half a lap away from taking the white flag, after which the next flag would end the race. We have a caution, and we will reset for overtime. Well, let's unpack this, Clint. Watch this. Kyle Larson gets spun out, right? Obviously, he got loose and gets spun. Saves the car, mind you. Gets the thing straightened back up. Only loses to a couple spots. Comes back sixth. Now watch this pit area. See, he gets it gathered up, keeps it straight, only loses a couple spots because they were that far ahead. Pit road uh, opens. He gains two spots, goes right back to the very position. The guy that spins him out has trouble on pit road. He is now 16th, Bubba Wallace. Holy cow. What a turn of events here. Martin Truex Jr. on the radio right away. You got to be kidding me. They said, come on, bring it to us. Same with Joey Logano, put four tires on here. Pit crews must step up and perform and make it happen. You see the 11 in as well as the 23. Slow stop on the 19. You see the 22 up beside him. Keep an eye on Denny Hamlin. It's going to be close here, guys. Hamlin He's going to get him. 11 to the little point. How about this? <laughs> Denny Hamlin had led twice for 10 laps tonight, and he comes out of pit road with the lead. Denny with an early launch in the restart box. Well, you see Martin chase him all the way down there with the side draft, trying to hold him at bay so he doesn't get clear. Denny ran him up the racetrack a little bit. Still there, side by side. Still holding tough on the outside, Mark Truex Jr. This Logano's car takes off good, too. Look at the inside of Truex. White flag. Truex trying to hold off Larson. Logano still. Oh. I don't, he didn't like what he saw. It's Rex come down door slamming it down, down the back straightaway. Denny, Denny Hamlin, Hamlin winner. Home track win for Hamlin in the Toyota Owners 400. Crash in turn one as Larson and Truex got together Way again to go. after the flag. Wow, way to go, guys. The Thank you. Crew. Thank you, pit crew. Absolutely. Oh. Man, Martin's mad at everybody. I didn't see what what Denny Hamlin did wrong crossing the line even with Larson and then Elliott fifth. Yeah, I know why he's frustrated but I just want to know why he's so mad. Regan. 
Hey, race fans, thanks for watching our video. For all NASCAR on Fox News content and the best clips from Fox Sports, be sure to follow and subscribe to our channel.